Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this Twin Flame Full Moon Lunar Eclipse in Scorpio reading. Um, I'm very excited about doing this reading to see what comes out. I'm going to um, start with you Divine Feminines to see what you need to know and what this Full Moon Lunar Eclipse in Scorpio is bringing for you. So I'm going to be using the Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck um, and then I'll go on to the Divine Masculines as well to see what's going to be going on with the Divine Masculines during this time and what it's bringing for them too. So I do hope you're well because you know these moon cycles do bring up so much in us and um, we feel all different things and the energies are very intense. So we've got Jupiter and Aries as well, and we've got Mercury retrograde in Gemini. So <laughs> it's all happening, guys. So let's see what's going to be going on for the Divine Feminines during this time of the full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. What's going to be going on and what is it bringing for the Divine Feminines? Nice, clear message, please. Let's see. <laughs> lighten up last quarter moon in leo so we've got leo coming through far energy as well so you could be a leo focus on the positive new moon in sagittarius so we've got far coming through as well and you could be sagittarius it doesn't matter guys if you're not any of those signs i just mention it because i know some of you are interested and reflect on your priorities last quarter moon in aquarius so, and at the bottom of the deck is detoxify, full moon in Taurus. <laughs> so we've got Aquarius and Taurus coming through as well. Let's move these over a little bit so you can see. So the full moon, lunar eclipse and Scorpio, you're detoxifying. Having this purification, lots of shifts happening within you. Releasing things that no longer serve you. Having a good clear out. Which could be quite intense for you. <laughs> by having this good big clear out and detoxifying. But th because things are coming up. That you're having to deal with. So you can shift them. You're really feeling. This is such a positive shift for you Divine Feminines. Because um, this is going to help make space for you to really lighten up. To be in this lighter energy because you're having this good good clear out things that no longer serve you removing those things which will help you be more relaxed and for you to focus on the positive because you've shifted so much fear because you faced it um, um with this focus on the positive with the new moon in sagittarius this will help you see the good in all situations because you'll be focusing on the positives not focusing on the negative in a situation or whatever's going on you're always going to see the good in it because you'll be able to put love into the situation not always viewing things with fear and by doing that you're going to be able to reflect on your priorities what is really important you're going to be using your time, your energy wisely. Things that you could be putting your energy into that really aren't important, but because of how you used to view this, whatever that is, you're seeing it so differently because you're like, well, actually, that's really not important. Why am I worrying about that for? That's really silly. And it's about you over giving as well. You could be, you know, giving too much and not giving enough to yourself. So you're prioritising yourself. You are important. <laughs> Everything starts with you. When you're healthy, you're feeling good and you're taking care of your well-being by prioritising yourself. Everybody else will benefit and this world, this planet will benefit from that too. And this is going to be made very clear to you because you're going to be in this lighter energy and you're only going to be seeing the good, focusing on the positive, not wasting your time on things um, 
that really aren't important. You're putting things in order. Detoxify. And some of you might might be making healthier choices of what you know, how you're what you're putting into your body, all of those things. But the most important thing is, you know, what's going on inside and what's going on in your head because then you're going to make healthy choices anyway of how you're living your life and you know what you're putting into your body and what you're doing with your body so let's see what i'll move these down a little bit so we've got room for the divine masculines to see what is going to be going on for the divine masculines during this time what's going to be going on for the divine masculines during this full moon lunar eclipse in scorpio What's going to be happening, what they're going to be experiencing and what is it going to be bringing for the Divine Masculines. Nice, clear message, please. Let's see. First quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurities. So they're going to be pushing through any insecurities, any fear. They're pushing through that. They're going to be given the strength to deal with that. So a lot of green coming through, sort of aqua green. Last quarter moon in Cancer, we've got Cancer coming through as well, which is a water is water energy, um, and it's take a breath, take a breather, yeah, take a breather. And this one wanted to come, go for it, new moon in Aries, and that was in my weekly reading as well, guys. So know that you are loved, new moon in Libra. So we've got air energy and, you know, Libra is about balance. The Divine Masculines are also going to be balancing things out during this time of the full moon, lunar eclipse in Scorpio. And because of that, they're going to be able to push through any insecurities as well. When we have balance in our life, within, we do feel so loved. We know that we're loved. That is so clear. And we're actually feeling good about ourselves. So we're giving love to ourselves. So they will have the strength to push through these insecurities. About self, about where they're heading, what they know, and what they want to achieve in their life, the changes that they want to make. They're going to push through the insecurities, the things that have stopped them for so long. And they're going to be using this time to take a breather, to cope with all the emotions, everything they're experiencing, so they can push through the insecurities. And the Divine Muskings are very aware and they do have the tools to know how to get to that place of feeling balance and to feel peaceful, to be in the present moment by going out in nature or doing something, you know, that that is going to quieten that chatter in their head, whatever that is. Whatever that is, you know your Divine Masculine likes to do, to relax, to take a breather, to calm down. That's soothing. But they're going to push through this um, and they're going to be taking a breather, looking after themselves, really grounding themselves. Whoops, and this is going to help your Divine Masculine go for it. They are going for this. Fire energy coming through here as well with the balance and with these two energies this you know what's come out in the cards is going to support the divine masculine to go for it it really does work they have the strength they have the courage and the bravery to take action to go for it so this full moon, lunar eclipse in Scorpio is going to be very powerful for you, Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculines. Big shifts. But be aware, you know, having these big shifts, we do have to take care of ourselves. We have to listen to ourselves and we have to be nurturing towards self. Having this purification, detoxifying, and if you haven't already, go and check out the weekly reading, guys, because um, this goes with everything that's happening, what's coming out in this reading as well for the Divine Masculines. 
So thank you so much for joining me today for this Twin Flame Full Moon Lunar Eclipse in Scorpio reading. And thank you so much to the love and support that you give me, guys. It means the world. I'm so very grateful. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And if you're interested in the membership that I'm offering now for extra support or you'd like a private reading, all the information, um, how I do the readings and the prices is in the, is in the description box down below. So I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light, and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, what's your soul saying?